Okay, Nissan Navara D23 EGR cooler replacement. The fault in our one is actually an exhaust leak uh, coming from the actuator spindle on it. Um, but EGR coolers fail um, quite commonly uh, by getting um, exhaust gases into the coolant. Okay, um, so you may have a failure for that reason too. Okay, so uh, this will be an outline of what you need to do. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is get the ear box and ear tubes and stuff. Just basic stuff like that, just get them out of the way. There's a few heat shields that are simple on top. And we will start showing you from um, having the uh, right front wheel removed and the inner guard so that you can gain access in that way. Make sure you watch right through too because um, there's some stuff we will show you again on reassembly uh, that will make things a bit clearer as well. Cool, let's get into it. D23 Navara EGR cooler. Wheel off and a guard off. Get access through there. Oh, yeah. So that heat shield is a bolt. Oh, yep, yeah. right up in the back, up through there. 8mm bolt. 8mm bolt. And then that turbo is going to come off pretty easy by the looks of it. Because just unbolt that, that's going to come out of the way, and then you'll be able to get at the cooler. Sweet. Both feeds out the back. Top one is for the turbo you need to take off. The bottom one is for the back turbo that runs over the cooler. And you got your drain pipe that runs into here, and then the drain pipe for the top turbo that needs to come off. Cool. So that's down there. That'll be your drain pipe. Yeah. These two here. Cool. Oh. One more bolt. One more bolt. <laughs> Always one more bolt. Okay, so this is the turbo, that front turbo off uh, with the oil feed and return pipes down the bottom there. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, and then uh, looking in here, so that second turbo, uh, the rearmost turbo, will actually stay in place. The next job here is to get the pipes off. Um, so you have the oil um, feed pipe for the second turbo needs to come off, and also the dipstick uh, will need to come off so we can get at the... Um, other heat shield to get that out of the way. This is the other EGR cooler. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can see the three main mounting bolts, um, and then you've got your flanges where your pipes go on, uh, and you've got a coolant pipe at the bottom and one at the back. Cool, so they will need to come off too. So this is now with the dipstick out of the way, which allows you to get that heat shield off. Um, and then you got this flange here, which goes up to another flange there to get that pipe off. And then there's a flange on the EGR cooler itself, um, up in there. Let's see. And that cool, oh, yeah. cool plant there. You got this pipe here, and that's just the two bolts. Yeah, and the EGR cooler that should come out. So that looks like a plastic clip. Yeah, one on the top, one on the bottom. You push them together and squeeze them out. Oh, yeah, so squeeze those ones together. Yeah, cool. Should be able to take that top um, cover off. There's a bolt up the top to get that, that, that top so cover off. On there. But, uh, see solids on there. Oh, right. 
Yeah, so normally you'd be able to pull that off if you could undo the bolt at the top. So there it is off, and that's where our leak was coming from, from the actuator. But yeah, that's your top flange up there we were looking at, that's where that pipe was on, that pipe there. So you just squeeze those clips in there yeah, and pull that off, back in the hose there, and just your three mounting bolts. Once you get all the other stuff out of the way. So yep, so that second turbo stayed in place. Okay, so this is what it looks like um, with everything out. So that you can see that rear turbo is still there. Um, it was only the uh, oil feed pipe that had to come off it and that heat shield. Okay, and that's the dipstick tube there with the bracket that mounts it at the top and the bolt hole at the bottom where it bolts uh, downwards. And getting that out of the way allows you to get at the nut. Um, there for this heat shield uh, and it's got that 8 mil bolt around the back on that shield as well that's the pipe that came off and yep that's the second hand cooler there um, this one is getting a second hand one fitted by the customer's request uh, and the reason for that was simply that a new one was not available for six weeks um, and they want to get this back on the road being, being a fleet vehicle um, but normally we would definitely recommend fitting new for any EGR cooler that you are fitting um, but we're just doing what the, the customer needs on this one Okay, so this is going back in um, so pipes back on there that we looked at before with the cover off this is what it looks like with the cover on with these bolts here and that's the nut up the top there and um, that one we looked at earlier that goes right in the back there but not to focus uh, so that's what it looks like once the dipstick is out of the way so you can access that nut up there. Cool. So the next will be dipstick going back in. So this is what it looks like with the dipstick back in. Okay, so there's a couple of bolts on the top of the bracket there and there is one at the base of the dipstick that bolts down into the sump area. Let's take that off you can see how, where that comes around is in the way of that cover there. Okay, so basically from that point, um, you're just reassembling, uh, getting that turbo back on, and then your covers, uh, and all that basic stuff again, the, the extra piping and the, the air box and the inner guard and the wheel and all that sort of thing. Um, we won't go through all of that because we're, we're sure you can uh, work all that out. The main thing is showing you how, how to get the thing off and um, what's involved in the more in-depth stages. Okay and that is how to replace a EGR cooler on a D23 Nissan Navara. Hope this has helped you out today. Don't forget to click a like and subscribe for more real tips from real mechanics and we will see you in the next video.